Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating how to verify the linearity of a given system. So, for this purpose, consider a system y of n equal to 2 times x of n plus 1 by x of n minus 1. That is a delayed version of the input. Now, we want to verify if the system is linear or not. So, let us call this one. It is the system. The, let us call this system equation as equation 1. Now, consider two inputs that is x1 of n and x2 of n which have corresponding outputs y1 of n and y2 of n. So, what it basically means is y1 of n is 2 times x1 of n plus 1 by x1 of n minus 1 and y2 of n is 2 times x2 of n plus 1 by x2 of n minus 1. Now, let us define a new input x3 of n which is basically a linear combination of x1 of n and x2 of n. So, given this input, let us look at the corresponding output. That is, that is, let us consider this system as x of n going through the system h of x of n and we get the output y of n. Then, in that case, h of x3 of n or basically the output when we have x3 of n as the input should be equal to 2 times x3 of n plus 1 by x3 of n minus 1. And then, based on the definition of x3 of n, this should be equal to 2 times a into x1 of n plus b into x2 of n plus 1 by a times x1 of n minus 1 plus b times b times x2 of n minus 1. So, that is the output when we have x3 of n as the input. So output when x3 of n is the input. Let us call this equation 2. Now, now let us define a new output y3 of n which is a linear combination of y1 of n and y2 of n. Recall that y1 of n is the output when we have x1 of n as the input and similarly y2 of n is the output when x2 of n is the input. So, now the problem is that is y3 of n is can be written as a times y1 of n is 2 times x1 of n plus 1 by x1 of n minus 1 plus b times 2 times x2 of n that is for y2 of n plus 1 by x2 of n minus 1. So, it is basically linear combination of y1 of n and y2 of n. Now, when we compare y3 of n with the output uh, that is h of x3 of n, we can clearly see that they are not equal. That is, the first terms are, are equal, but the that is 2a x1 of n plus 2b x2 of n, that linear part are same, but the non-linear part that is 1 by a times uh, x1 of n plus b times x2 of n and here we have a times 1 by x1 of n minus 1 and plus b times 1 by x2 of n minus 1. So, because of this the system is non-linear that is the second component is the reason for non-linearity of the system. Therefore, y3 of n is not equal to the output when we have x3 of n is as the input. So, that means the system is not linear that is the system y of n equal to 2 times x of n plus 1 by x of n minus 1, this system is not linear. In other words, it is a non-linear system. So, to summarize, we have considered the system, we have considered the system y of n is equal to 2 times x of n plus 1 by x of n minus 1. We want to verify the li linearity of the system. So, for that purpose, we define two inputs x1 of n and x2 of n which have corresponding outputs y1 of n and y2 of n and then we define a new input x3 of n which is basically a linear combination of these two inputs. Now, first we compute the output when x3 of n is the input. So, for that purpose h of x3 of n is the output for x3 of n which is found to be 2 times a uh, 2 times x3 of n that is 2 times a into x1 of n plus b times x2 of n plus 1 by a into x1 of n minus 1 plus b into x2 of n minus 1. Now, we also define then uh, another output y3 of n which is a linear combination of the corresponding outputs of the inputs x1 and x2. So, y3 of n is found to be a times 2 times a multiplied by 2 times x1 of n plus 1 by x1 of n minus 1 plus b times 
2 into x2 of n plus 1 by x2 of n minus 1. So, when we compare these two outputs that is y3 of n with h of x3 of n, we can clearly see that they are not equal. That is specifically because of the second component in the system. So, y of n equal to 2 times x of n plus this inverse term that is 1 by x of n minus 1 is a non-linear system. Thanks for watching.